Are you able to weld in winter when the material and the weather is below 32 degrees Fahrenheit? It depends. If the material you're welding is below 32 degrees, the moisture that's in the steel is going to be frozen. And when you go to make a weld, that weld isn't going to stick as easily because there's moisture that's frozen in the steel. The process of welding has to bring the temperature of the steel above its melting point. And if it's frozen, that frozen moisture is gonna help keep the steel frozen and it's not gonna make a good weld. Even when the temperature of your steel is close to that freezing temperature, there's gonna be a lot more moisture in the steel as opposed to normal temperature steel. If your steel is below freezing temperature, you need to bring its temperature above freezing, preferably to 100, 150 degrees. The easiest way to do that is with a propane torch, or if you have the ability to, the oxy-settling torches. You can see that moisture getting pulled out of the steel. That's not coming from the flame. That was water that was in the steel that's getting repelled. If you go over an area you've already gone over and there's more moisture coming out, you need to keep heating that spot for longer. That means your heat didn't penetrate deep enough into the steel to burn off all the water in the, in the material. And now that I've brought that material hotter, it's gonna be easier to weld that material now that that moisture in the steel is now gone and no longer frozen, preventing that steel from melting. If you have thicker material than this eighth of an inch stuff, then you're gonna have to heat it up a longer time. And if you're able to access the back of the steel, you need to heat it up from the back and the front to make sure it's not going to quickly cool off and regain that moisture. Also benefits greatly if you have your material cleaned off, any rust that's on it needs to be ground off. If you grind off the scale, that'll also help. But the basic premise is heat the steel up above 100 degrees when the temperature is 40 and below. 